hey everybody, Jennifer Lopez Dorsey here. Sean Patrick Dorsey here. And this is People, Places, and Things where we talk about whatever we want. And we're just in the car right now. Here's our friend Cameron Johnson. We're staying with his family in Rhode Island. And here's three out of four of our kids. So <laughs> Bella is actually with Susan and Kevin, which is Cameron's parents. And we were just talking about how important our families are to us and taking the time to spend time with your family, whoever that might be. Maybe it's not an actual blood relative. You know, your friends could actually be your family. And that's kind of the nice part about your friends is you can choose who they are. <laughs> because you become what? You know, this five rule, Cameron? Sorry. Your parents have said this. What's this five rule? The people that you spend the most time with? The top five people, have you heard this? I haven't heard this. Okay, so the top five new. people that you spend time with is who you become. Oh, yes. Okay. Right? So if you're spending time with people that lie, that are lazy, Sean doesn't know where he's going. No, it's true. We're headed it's to right. the cottage. <laughs> um, <laughs> people that maybe are not don't have integrity or don't have good intention aren't kind or respectful then you tend to become like those people that you hang out with so right I always try to spend time with people that are smarter than me that hustle harder than me because that drives me to to do those things positivity yeah positive for surround sure surround yourself with that positive energy that's out there you know, a lot of people have it Find those people who have an aura that fills you with happiness as opposed to other bad things. Yes. Oh, I like that. Negativity can be very easy because sometimes it takes nothing to do it. And it's easy to live there. You know, positivity sometimes takes a lot of work. But once you get going, and like Jennifer was saying, you see those people that have it, it's easy to find it and give it back. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch the road. So this vacation, I've really been trying to get off my phone and spend time with my family, which is challenging because this is a this is a crucial month for us in our business and we're really hustling and we're trying to hit a certain level. When we hit this level, really amazing goals that we've set out for ourselves are going to be accomplished. Um, and so, you know, we've got everybody rooting for us. We've got a huge team behind us supporting us and we're learning from the best. Um, people that are in our industry that are hustling that have hit these levels that are working towards these levels These are the people that we're spending the most time with so it's an exciting month It's also my three-year anniversary with my company. So, um, you know, we're just we're celebrating that and we're feeling extremely grateful for everything that we've got uh, Right now we're headed to a cottage that belongs to Cameron's family that's on its own private island in Rhode Island And it's amazing here uh, you know, being in the United States for Canada Day was very odd, <laughs> but we celebrated, you know, we wore our shirts, we brought our Canadian flags, we were calling home, um, so we could feel that, we could feel the love from Canada for sure, and we were sending it down that way. So now we're gearing up for July 4th, this will be the very first time, eh, that we've been in the States and celebrating yeah. July 4th long yeah. weekend, and um, it's crazy down here, like the flags, the energy, the energy's awesome, yeah. you know, everybody just is so patriotic and um, so great just to have the freedom that we have in our country and um, so we're gonna we're gonna log off now and and uh, head to the cottage traffic's a little bit crazy so this is where we'd probably put on some stress away <laughs> some Ula family Ula fun Ula friends and some grateful yeah Ula faith for sure you know um, we said our prayers this morning and we did our run through of what we're grateful for so Cameron name five things right now you're grateful for Family, friends, obviously, those are the two most important ones. Yeah. The fact that we're able to spend today off, I got a weekend day off, I'm super thankful for nice. it. Nice. Sweet. Um, yeah, because you work in hospitality industry, so yeah. getting we that work off. 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the fact that oils have been able to help me so much lately with the past few days. Um, and... I love this beautiful weather. <laughs> this beautiful weather, absolutely. That's awesome. Because it's been kind of overcast the past few days, so. Yeah. yeah. So I want you guys to think of five things that you're grateful for and then take it a step further and give two reasons why you're grateful for each of those things and write them down and keep track of everything and forcing yourself to do that will get you into the routine of um, just becoming grateful every day and when, you, when you're grateful and you have faith life is going to be amazing abundance is going to be huge it's going to overwhelm you and it's going to make life so amazing so we send you lots of love and uh, we hope you guys have a great long weekend and we'll talk to you soon.